Welcome to Dance Physiolic app. Today I would like to talk about connection. Of course, when you practice by yourself, you don't have the other person to connect to. But still, as you're practicing, you can actually imagine you have some other person and do this simple exercises to prepare yourself to when you dance with the partner, you already know what to do, you know what uh, what kind of feeling to look for. So there is a mainly two types of connection. There is a pushing sensation, or we call it more giving, and there is a hook, pulling away sensation. So you can use your own arms and do it this way. Press one arm against another arm, and you feel a pushing sensation, and hook two fingers like this, and feel how your one arm pulling against another. So it's a little bit pushing, and pulling sensation but uh, we choose to call it more giving giving and hook so giving and hook why is the best way to call it giving because instead of focusing on the arm itself and your biceps how strong you press you will more focus on giving your hip weight your spine weight your projection and your energy to your partner. So it's much bigger subject rather than you just pressing with the arm. So the giving will be the good terminology. And giving means, of course, in your hands you will feel a pushing sensation, but giving more means that you prepare your body as always we do. It's three points to prepare body, tummy in, chest forward, up, knees, pushing back. And then you try to project your spine weight by rocking it this way, your hip weight and the whole energy and your body projection to your partner. And you can take one arm here, one arm here, and feel actually that in this case, you're giving connection to your partner, in a way giving to yourself. Very good. You can do it on the other leg, exactly the same. Put this arm here and this arm here. And don't focus on the pressure with the arm. Focus on your body your hip, your, your spine, giving the weight to that arm through your connection, through the back, through the arm, into this point. And you can rock like this a couple times. You can be a great, a great, a great feeling. Now, anytime you dance, if you're by yourself or with your partner, you want to have a feeling in your arms that you're constantly giving and in some cases pushing away. So give and pushing away, in the feeling of connection, it will feel almost the same because it will feel as a pushing sensation. So for example, if I put my weight on my left leg and my right leg is free, if I push and give forward my spine weight, hip weight, I feel strong pushing away, uh, pushing feeling to my arm. But when I go back, for example, I'm also feeling the pushing sensation, but it's more created through my arm actually pushing away from the point of connection. So the feeling is the same as we press towards each other, but in one case, when, for example, I move forward, I have all my body, all my energy projecting and giving to that arm, but when I'm moving back, I'm pushing away. Both are pushing, but in different quality. So that's why this giving connection is going to be your primary goal. Constantly give. So when you dance by yourself, you can, like I already mentioned, you can have one arm here, one arm here, and feel like you are giving that connection as you proceed forward with your rumba walk, cha-cha walk, or samba walk. doesn't matter. If you would like to use only your 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 own arms so you can feel like the connection you create for example for the guys use your left arm and feel like you're giving as you're walking giving as you're walking for the ladies use your right so for the guys sorry use your left arm because you connect this through the left arm for example if you dance rumba so the left arm is here you're giving as you move Give. So you just keep your arm in front, which is in any way very good technique. When you dance with your partner, the ability to keep your arm in front of you as you dance is very important. So this arm doesn't move independently. So you can you do two ways. 
You can press against each other this way, this way, feel that real sensation, or you just keep your arm in front and imagine that you're projecting your energy through your body, through your hips, through your spine, into that arm here. So when you have your partner on the other hand, she can feel that connection with you and you can practice this way. And for the ladies, exactly the same is just like most of the time, ladies, you give your right arm to the man. So you can imagine or you can put your arm here. So for the guys will be this way, palm up. For the ladies will be a palm down because most of the, of the time this is the connection happen. And as you do a rumble walks, I strongly recommend keep your arm in front of you, keep your elbow in front and be on that giving sensation through your legs, through your body, into that arm. So when later you have your partner who will connect you this way, he will feel all this energy you give from your body into that arm. And that could be a rumba walks, two and three and four one. That could be a cha-cha walks. Cha-cha, walk, walk, walk. Or it can be a samba walks, cruzado walks, same idea. Crusader walks, same idea of giving, connecting. Now, when you move backward, it's going to be feeling of pushing away. Same pushing, pushing away. So I strongly recommend keep two arms like this. And you, as you move back with two arms, feel like you're pushing away from the wall, pushing away from the wall. You're pushing away from the wall. And you can do this sensation in out, this small movement. But of course, when you dance with the partner, it's going to be more on consistent basis. Also, another exercise, you can keep one arm in front of you, one arm here. And as you move back, push away from that arm and maintain that feel of connection. So even by yourself, you can practice connection. So later when you have a partner, you can really experience strong connecting feeling. Enjoy.